In this video I'll try explaining in brief lines the differences between USB 2.0, 3.0 and 3.1 because I've seen many people still struggling to understand the difference. Also learn more about all the different types of connectors in the USB world. Stay tuned to learn more. First of all, the USB stands for Universal Serial Bus and it was first designed in 1996. The main reason for designing a such protocol was to make a single protocol for connecting PCs with all the different kinds of peripherals such as printers, keyboards, mice, digital cameras and others. Fast forwarding to 2019, the standard has vastly improved and today we have three different versions that are amazingly popular today and are all in daily use. First of them is the oldest one, USB 2.0. We all know and love this one. It's still the most used one and theoretical data transfer rate is 480 megabits per second, which translates to about 60 megabytes per second. In most day-to-day -day practice, you can get around 40 to 45 megabytes on average. Six different connectors are being used with USB 2.0 divided in two main groups, Type A and Type B connectors. This is the schematic for type A. It has four pins with one pin carrying five volts power, pins two and three being data plus and data minus, and the fifth pin being ground. As you've probably noticed, USB also carries power, and that's the main reason why different types of connectors exist. Typically, you'll find USB type A on one and type B on the other. Type A provides power and type B receives power. Different connectors prevent potential damage that would be caused by connecting two PCs with Type A connector, for example. In 2008, USB 3.0 Super Speed was introduced, which increased theoretical speed to 5 gigabits per second. The connectors also had to change with the addition of five new pins, but leaving the bulk of the connector the same, which means USB 3.0 is backwards compatible with 2.0 devices, operating at a lower speed, of course. Type B micro USB had to change as well, which looks bulkier compared to the older one, and they are not backwards compatible, simply physically not being able to plug into each other. Development went even further with USB 3.1 being released in 2013 and bumping up the speeds to 10 gigabits per second. A revolutionary new connector emerges here called USB Type-C. It allows you to plug in both ways and the amount of pin increases to 24. The latest edition came in September of 2017 called USB 3.2 which bumped the speed of Type-C connector to 20 gigabits per second. This was achieved by the existing wires that were intended for flip-flop capabilities of the USB Type-C. Now comes the important question, aka, do I get the advertised speeds in real life? The short answer is no. As already mentioned, USB 2.0 reaches 40 megabytes per second most of the time. USB 3.0 drives do not reach their full potential with the most maxing out at around 100 megabytes per second and the best of them reaching 200 megabytes per second, which is still less than half of the USB 3.0 maximum theoretical speed. USB 3.1 increases that and gets you up to 420 megabits for reads and 380 megabytes for write speeds. As a conclusion, I can give you an advice and that is before buying any of these new high-speed flash drives or other USB devices, check their read and write speeds and see if those satisfy your needs and don't expect miracles. Thank you for watching this video. I'm Motherload458 and I hope you've gotten something out of it and stay tuned to my channel.